Meanwhile, here in the Miami Valley, protesters marched through Riverside tonight. Two News reporter Allison Gens tells us why they marched and the opposition they faced. Organizers say they faced a lot of pushback from Riverside and school officials when wanting to plan a protest here at Stebbins High School. Well, after a lot of persistence, they made that happen Tuesday. Nothing has been done in my where I grew up or I'm from, so I wanted to make sure that that was done. We want to make sure that, yeah, we do agree with what's going on and Riverside does stand with Black Lives Matters movement. Protesters stood in the Stevens High School parking lot, sharing their experiences with racism in their community. We are better than the words that they put on us, and it is our right to be free. Even the Riverside mayor and police chief said a few words about the actions they want to take. Oh, there's no way you could condone anything that took place in Minneapolis. We just can't do that, and we never would. Um, so for us, we're just trying to be better. After a moment of silence, the peaceful protest was disrupted by several anti-protesters who stood across the street. And instead of marching, protesters like Alicia Howard decided to take a stand. What is there to anti-protest against? People want freedom. People want equality. They want the right to just exist. No, please. For Kelvin Bransford Jr., the protest was just a start in making a long-lasting change in Riverside and the country. There's a disconnect between citizens, the community, and our police force, and that, that needs to end if we want our country to <laughs> head in the right direction. And the speakers challenged the protesters to use this as a first step and to put their words to action. In Riverside, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.